Hey everybody, this is Jerry's Doctor, and I'm just going to take a quick look here and show you guys what it looks like to set a mining schedule uh, for your next mining pull. And here you can see that I have my Athenor. Uh, this is the Athenor on the private moon that I'm renting. I own the structure, but I rent the moon from my alliance. And uh, this particular moon is a R4, I think, or R8. No, it's an R4. Um, and I am just getting ready to set the next pull. As you can see, I have rocks in space. I've already blasted today's pull open, and I'm going to set the next pull for a week from now. So in order to do that, I'm going to click the Stand Up Moon Drill Mining Service, and that's going to pull open this extraction scheduling view, and it will tell you that the current status is stopped, and it will give me the ability to see when my next scheduled pull will be by dragging this slider and setting the date that I want at some point in the future. And it will tell me what my approximate pull output will be. So in this case, I want to do my next pull a week from now. So the minimum amount of time I can go four to six days. So I can go to Friday, June 18th as sort of my, my next short or I can go to Saturday the 20th, or sorry, the 19th, and I can set even a specific time that I want to have this poll ready to go. So at this point, uh, for me, I would normally go 15.30, which is 8.30 a.m. my time, because Saturday mornings is a convenient time to hop on the computer and just play a little bit, do some mining, and that leaves me the whole rest of the day to get my mining in. Now, if I set this for Saturday the 19th, at say 15.30, the amount of ore that you get is dependent on how long you let the mining cycle go. So the longer the mining cycle goes, the bigger the chunk you'll pull up from the planet, and the more ores you'll get in your detonation. This is telling me that if I wait until next Saturday, so seven days, or six days, 18 hours, 42 minutes, I'm going to get approximately 400 million as, as a minimum value. This isn't counting for any additional or higher quality materials. So if I get copious shielite, um, I'll obviously extract higher value. So depending on the type of pop that I get. And it automatically adds an event to the calendar. Now, if I go longer and say I go to Saturday of the following week so that I, I mine on June 26th, and I'll go to the same time, I'll say 1530, then I'm going to get approximately 800 million esque. It's nearly double the value, but it's, it's basically a straight uh, calculation. X many hours, you get X amount of value out of the mining. So this going here to the 26th, and I can use my scroll wheel on my mouse as well to move in, you know, uh, increments of up to half an hour. And if I go to my maximum pull time, that's going to give me a period of 55 days, 23 hours, just short of 56 days, at which point it's estimating a approximate pull value of 3.3 billion isk. Now I can tell you that I pay a rent on this moon based on the approximate value that this moon is worth going to pull, you know, on a, on a monthly basis. So here I'm going to go to Saturday the 26th. Okay, that's two weeks from now. Uh, at, actually, you know what, I'll go to next week, just so that I have something to do on Saturday morning. So we're going to say 15.30, 15.30 on June 19th. That's going to give me an approximate pull value of about 400 million esque, and I pay 10% of this moon's value in mooning, moon mining rental prices, not including mining taxes, um, on this moon. So I'm going to pay about 40 million esque per week, to rent this moon, um, but I'm going to get 10 times that value out of it if I'm the only one mining. So I'm going to press start. I'm going to close up the moon view, and what we're going to see now is the mining laser begin its blast cycle. So here it's going to power up, and we're going to see it start blasting shots at the moon. You can see that it's blasted a great big chunk and it's going to do it again. It's firing these disc-shaped shots 
around the outside of this chunk of moon. It's pretty impressive actually. And then this big old mining laser is just gonna spool up. And fire one final blast to loose that chunk free from the ground. And you see the uh, the shock wave spreading out from the point of contact, and it creates this big circular chunk, which you can see has now been blasted free. And then this big old tractor beam latches onto it and starts pulling it into space. Pretty cool, hey? And I get to do this every week. Now I can set this up for every two weeks or every two months. And it's a straight ratio time. It will give me a fixed value based on how much time I spend letting it pull those ores. Um, but uh, yeah, it pulls up a chunk. It blasts it when the when the detonation cycle is ready. So once the, the mining cycle has finished its pull, it will blast the... Um, the chunk into a temporary asteroid field like you see here. It's these rocks here that you can see in space. And then I just have to mine those rocks. And uh, mining by myself, you know, if I want to mine this all out, I can do this in a rock wall in a single day. Uh, or the rocks will stay in space for two to three days. I can also um, fix different service modules or rigs to my, um, fix different rigs to my structure in order to alter the parameters of how long the pull lasts or how long it takes or you know the chance of different pops um, and so on basically there's different rigs that affect different values i haven't messed around with that at all lately it's basically just a straight pull and um, if i'm using an orca and a bunch of barges i can clear this in a day it just takes longer um, but really i've got two days to clear out those rocks and of course i'm going to start by mining the highest value ones first uh, which is going to be like the copious zeolite, the copious titanite, the brimful zeolites, and then I'll work my way down to the standard ones. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Do remember that I am running for Council of Stellar Management 16. Uh, your votes are very important to me. The voting period goes until, I believe, the 18th, uh, so you've got a few days still yet to get your votes in. Um, if you're interested in knowing more about how the CSM work and how they represent you to CCP. I'll be releasing a video about that shortly. Thank you so much for following. Thank you for your interest in this game. And if you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments section below. Cheers.